Good afternoon, Chargers. We're back with another episode of WRSN. We hope you had an amazing spring break and a great first week back. I'm Darnell. And I'm Emily. And in this week's show, we will cover the freshman experience and how some freshmen are adjusting to starting school at Suncoast and the challenges of virtual school as well as in person. We will also cover the school newspaper as well as what's new in sports. Without further ado, this is... their first day in a new environment. It can be stressful and difficult to adjust, especially with COVID-19 in the mix. While regulations are in place to keep students safe because of COVID, majority of the freshman class have yet to meet their classmates as well as teachers. Let's see what some freshmen who are back in school have to say about their experience online and now in person, and how they recommend that the still virtual freshmen prepare for walking on a brand new campus. As the new school year started, the new freshmen were forced to a virtual learning experience. But as time has passed, some have decided to come back and this is their experience. It was definitely a lot better having freshman year like in person because um, it's nice to be on campus and getting to like meet people and meet people in your class because virtual like sucks. Like I don't know why anyone's celebrating today. It sucks. For some freshmen, the perks of coming back to school has been the social life at school. <laughs> Like, like your social life is a lot different because like you get to meet so many more people than on virtual school. Some noted the perks of virtual school. Um, virtual school was convenient and stuff because you got to sit in and stuff. This has been Alex Saceda with WRSN. Now back to you guys in the studio. I really give perspective on how COVID has not only changed the way school functions, but how it can be more difficult to interact with students in your class. This makes me think. How can students keep in touch with what's going on around campus besides watching WRSN? That's a great question, Darna. Luckily, I have just the answer you're looking for. The Suncoast Legend, which is our very own school news site, which has articles written by our very own chargers about not only sports and other events taking place at school, but also includes some national coverage on issues ranging from improving your lifestyle to opinion pieces on important issues like voting and progress on the COVID-19 vaccine. If you haven't already, go check it out. Now let's take a look at what some editors have to say about the Suncoast Legend. The Legend is the student news site for the School of Suncoast. You can find different topics on the site, such as news, features, opinion, lifestyle, and sports. Most students for the Legend are virtual, but they get just as much done as they would in person. The managing editor and editor-in-chief commented on why they join and what they write about. I joined The Legend because I genuinely like writing and I enjoy having an outlet like The Legend to express myself and communicate with students. We've written articles about everything. Some topics include gay representation in media, gender inequities, and prevalent issues within our education system. So we have about 20 staffers this year. You can learn more about The Legend on their website, shstheLegend.com. To finish off, here is a message by the managing editor and editor-in-chief. The goal of our paper is to highlight the issues and the great qualities of our student body. We also plan on releasing a free end-of-year print issue later this year for all of our students. We also provide uh, important information and exciting updates on our Instagram at shstheLegend, so be sure to follow that if you haven't already. If you have a cool story, you can contact us and we can try to feature you. Please choose newspaper as an elective because it's a great way for you to improve your writing skills. It's also a great extracurricular. There's many more opportunities attached to being a newspaper and you'd get to be a published writer and you'd get a lot of certifications like in InDesign or Photoshop or Illustrator. So that also is pretty great for resumes. It's important to keep the legend as we are becoming a more digital world, especially with the pandemic. It's important that we have mediums like our school newspaper to express our sentiments and to be informed about the world around us. This has been Nicholas Lavanya reporting for WRSN. Now let's check into some Suncoast sports. What's 
to the Chargers. It was a great game this past Wednesday for the boys varsity baseball team, winning against Forest Hill 3-0. Zach Blair, Angel Cruz, and Carlos Rodriguez each scored a run. Good stuff, guys. If you're like me, you're probably wondering what sports events are coming up next. Well, lucky for the both of us, girls and boys water polo will be playing Westminster Academy today after school in Fort Lauderdale. On Monday, the boys lacrosse team will go against Park Vista at 6 o'clock. That's it for this week, Chargers, and good luck. Now it's nearing the last day of March, so it's time to acknowledge our amazing Chargers of the Month. When Don Morton is set to go above and beyond for others, and she is always willing to help someone work through difficult French words as well as topics. The IB Trade of the Month is Risk Taker, and our first Charger of the Month is Lauren Brenzel, who is said to be a dedicated debater. She's also said to be unafraid talking about subjects most people wouldn't even think of. Our next Charger of the Month is Derek Hall, who is said to have gone to the girls' weightlifting practices and meets. He also recorded the progress of the season, and with his footage, he put together an eight-minute documentary and shared the production at the end of their season with the girls and their parents. Said to be a must-see film. Congratulations, Chargers. For many of us, we relieve stress by watching TV, listening to music, or playing video games. But Raheem Graham is a student who enjoys taking the non-traditional route. Let's head over to Marvin Castor and see how Raheem has made fishing his outlet. When life gets chaotic, we all have different ways of relieving stress. Raheem Graham is a junior at Suncoast who enjoys fishing. I started fishing around the age of five when my grandpa took me to a lake in the neighborhood and he gave me a fishing pole and he started teaching me how to fish. My favorite fishing moment would have to be when me and a couple friends went fishing at this bridge on the island and I caught a five pound, I think it was a sea bass. I can't remember the type of fish. I just remember that it was five pounds and it was like huge. Fishing has even had some positive impacts on Raheem mentally. I'm having a hobby like fishing helps me mentally. Um, it clears my mind. Like when I have a lot of schoolwork and stressed out about things, I can just go to a lake and just go anywhere and just start fishing with just me, myself, and I. It helps to clear my mind, take stress off of me. The lessons learned from fishing can help with success in your life overall. Fishing has taught me you need patience. Sometimes it take five minutes, sometimes ten, sometimes an hour. You know, you have to have patience when you're fishing. The beauty of a hobby like fishing is that almost anyone can learn how to do it. At first, it may seem boring and lame, but once you start getting into it, it does get more fun, especially when it's just you and just, it's just you in the water, you know? And if you go with friends, that's also fun too. Another thing is that it would cost a bit at first, because then you have to buy the pole, you have to buy line, string, bait, weights, you have to buy a lot, you have to buy a lot of stuff, but after a while, it's fun, it's worth it. We can learn a lot about ourselves from doing things that we enjoy. This has been Marvin Castor, reporting for WRSN. Now let's head over to Derek and see what question he's asking Chargers today. What is up Chargers, it's your boy Taxi, back into the game with yet another episode of Field View. I hope everyone had a great spring break and is ready to get back to work. With that said, today we're gonna go around and ask students what they did on their spring break. Let's get it. Today we're coming around asking, what do you guys do for spring break? I mostly slept all spring break. Um, I hung out with my friends a couple times. That's for me. I cleaned my room. Oh, <laughs> I went to Georgia. For spring break, I worked out, I went to the beach, and I hung out with my friends. I waited in line for four hours. I did absolutely nothing. I slept. I third wheeled pretty much all of spring break. I slept and went to the gym. I waited in line for four hours at Bush Gardens. I slept and went to the gym. I played basketball. I went to the Keys. I hung out with friends. I played basketball. <laughs> went to a pretty Japanese garden. Um, I went to a rowing regatta and then kind of just did nothing the rest of the break. Uh, I went to the Keys with my family and friends. Slept. I went to the Keys. 
slept. I played D&D, &D, I watched the whole season of High Q, I watched Jujutsu Kaisen, and then I watched The Rookie and 911. Uh, I went to Alaska. I went to Colorado. I had volleyball tournament in Kentucky. I went to South Carolina. I went to North Carolina. Oh, I also went to North Carolina. I was in the hospital. <laughs> I went to Alabama. I went to the beach and ate a lot of good food. Ooh. I slept in and played a lot of video games. Uh, Hello, Miss Anchor. What did you do for spring break? Um, I went to Universal and um, that's pretty much it. And then I slept a lot. Oh, yeah. uh, what I did for spring break was I went to the beach with my friends. Ah, cool. I went to Orlando. It was my birthday. Oh, I watched the Grammys on Sunday. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> what did I do? I just slept in and like did my homework. Um, for spring break, I went to the Rapids and I stayed home and I was working. I went to Fort St. Lucie to see family. Nice. That's it. I did nothing. Well, I was chilling on my game. I was talking to friends um, and I was eating a lot. Bye. I went to the Bahamas. Uh, I won the state championship of hockey. I coached these kids. Hey guys. Oh, I've worked a lot, made some money, toured colleges, went and visited family. We'll see now. Vibes. Vibes. That's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your Friday. I'm Emily. And I'm Darnell. And don't forget to tune in next time for WRSN.